insert the thermometer in the center of the stuffing. I can move it up. There you go. And it should read 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's about 180 also. So it is cooked. Remove the thermometer and place the turkey on a cookie sheet. So insert the fork on the ribs between the legs and the breast right here. That's the way you will be able to lift it up. Cool. Then cover with foil to keep the temperature in and prepare the gravy. Discard a little bit of the fat but reserve about three tablespoons. Heat the pan and add the flour. Mix well. Cook the flour for about a minute. Then add the wine. Leave the pan on low heat and let's take care of the sage and the apple. Chop the sage. So I have separated the leaves from the stems. Chop them. If you don't have fresh sage, you may use dry sage. Of course, you will have better flavors using fresh herbs. Mm, great. Add the sage to the gravy. And mix well. Then core the apples. And cut them into eight quarters. And add the apples to the gravy. Mix well. and add the chicken stock. 